goes awareness the master key the only sin is unawareness and only virtue is awareness that which cannot be done without unawareness is sin that which cannot be done through awareness is virtue this is simple definition of sin and virtue if you are interested in it is impossible to murder if you are aware it is impossible to be violent at all if you are aware it is impossible to rape to steal to torture these are the possibilities these are impossible impossibilities if awareness is there it is only when unawareness prevails that in the darkness of unawareness all kind of enemies exist awareness is the light within to guide you moment to moment as you traverse through life's roads buddha has said if the light is on is on in a house thieves avoid it and if the watchman is awake thieves will not even try and if people are awake walking and talking inside and the house has not yet fallen into sleep there is no possibility for thieves to enter or even to think about it exactly the same is the case with you you are a house without any light the ordinary state of man is that of mechanical functioning a robot like you do not know you are not even aware of your movements know this as homo mechanicus only in the name you are a man otherwise just a trained skillful machine or a robot and whatsoever you do is going to be wrong and remember i am not saying whatsoever you do even all your virtues will not be virtues if you are unaware how can you be virtuous when you are unaware behind your virtue will come a great ego it is bound to be so even your saintliness practiced cultured with great labor and effort is futile because it will not bring simplicity it will not bring humbleness it will not bring that great experience of divine of divine which happens only when ego has disappeared the moment ego has disappeared you experience something beyond your imagination you will live a respectable life as a saint but as poor as everything else inwardly rotten and a beggar a meaningless existence it is not life it is only vegetating your sins will be sins your virtues will also be sin your immorality will be immorality and your morality will also be immorality so the criteria is being aware and alert this is why the upanishad say utishth jagrat be alert and awake 
remember morality not virtue is important remember without awareness they are just pretensions hypocrisies they make you phony they make you hypocrite but do not liberate you also they cannot liberate you in any way on the contrary they imprison you in many different ways only one thing is enough and that is awareness awareness is a master key it unlocks all the locks of existence the master key that can open any lock and find the, provide the solution for each and every circumstance and situation that comes across your way awareness means you live moment to moment alert conscious of yourself and conscious of all that is happening around you in a moment to moment response you are like a mirror that is what pythagoras wants you to understand you reflect and you reflect so totally that out of that reflection whatsoever action is born is right if the mirror that you are standing in front of does not reflect your face correctly how can you do makeup or all these things how would you know which area needs to be makeup or what kind of makeup do you require you reflect and you reflect so totally that out of that reflection whatsoever act is born is right because it fits it is harmonious with existence it does not really arise in you you are not a doer of it it arises in the total context the situation you and the rest all are involved in it in a particular situation what is the context you are there and the circumstance or the other person is there so everybody is involved and taking that into account out of that wholeness the act is born it is not your act and you have not decided to do it that way it is not your decision it is not your thought it is not your character you are not doing it you are simply allowing it to happen in that particular situation just as walking early in the morning the sun has risen you come across a snake along the way there is no time to think you can only reflect there is no time to decide what to do and what not to do what you do you immediately take a jump remember the word immediate not even a single moment is lost in that instantaneously a decision happens to take a jump you immediately jump out of the way later on you can sit under a tree and think about it what happened how did you do it you can even pat on your back that you did very well you did excellent but in fact you have not done it it happened 
it happened it happened out of total context you were walking along the road sun has risen suddenly you saw a snake along the path so there was no time for you to think or decide all of a sudden you take a jump so this decision or this happening happened out of the total context you the snake the danger of death the effort of life to protect itself these were the situations you were there the snake was there there was a danger of uh, death and amidst all these the effort of life to protect itself and a thousand and one other things are involved in it as well the total situation caused the act you were just a medium for the act or your jump to happen now this act fits you are not the doer of it in the religious way or religious context we say god has done it through you it is only a religious way of speaking that's all the whole the existence the totality has acted through the part you are the part and the existence has acted through the part this is virtue you will never repent for it and this really this kind of action frees you once it has happened it is finished you are again free you will not carry this action in your consciousness in your head it will not become part of your psychological memory because it has been done totally in harmony with the existence it will not leave any wound or scar in you it was so spontaneous that it will not leave any trace this act will never become a karma or action this act will never leave any scratch in you the act which becomes a karma or action or part of psychological memory is the act which is not really act instead a reaction which comes from the past from the memory from thinking you are traversing along the life's roads you react to what your spouse has said it has come out of thinking out of past out of memory you are not the decider or the chooser you it is the circumstances and situations the unawareness was responsible for it you are the decider the chooser it is not out of awareness instead out of unawareness then it is sin awareness is all i teach you how to be aware moment to moment enough for now